Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing you do is start out with some kind of a large feather. In, in this case, we're using a turkey feather. And you clear off uh, some of the ribbing on it so you have enough room for your hand to be comfortable with it, holding it. And then you can go ahead and sand it a little bit, make it nice and smooth. Now the whole trick to making a feather pen is the nib. That part down there is called the nib. And um, you have to do it in a specific shape. And this drawing here shows you the shape that we're looking for to um, cut it into. Just like that. And there are six steps to that, and I'll show you those. The first step there is you could do an angle cut on the, on the feather. And then you trim the end flat. Then you put a slot down the middle for the ink to run down. And then you bring those sides in a little bit so it comes to almost a point like this. And then you trim that point so it's a little bit of an angle. And there you go. You have a feather pen, just like that. Now it's interesting because it holds the ink, and as you press down, that split opens up and the ink will run down onto the paper. It's really quite ingenious. So let's do it. You cut your angle slot, you cut your angle, you cut, cut it off at an angle like this. And you know, I was reading a lot of stuff about making feather pens and they, a lot of tutorials talked about um, heating up sand and then putting the feather in the sand to condition it. So we did that and we couldn't notice, we didn't notice any difference at all in the function of the pen. So I recommend you go ahead and not even worry about conditioning the feather. I think it'll be quite fine without it. See, it's starting to look pretty good, and we've cut that slot. Now we're going to cut the slot in it. And I ordered a pack of turkey uh, feathers like this, four of them, and they were really cheap. So we could experiment with a few different ones to try them all out. And you can get a bit of control depending on whether you want to do light lines or, or hard lines. It's you know, um, you know, it's kind of kind of neat. I have, some, I have a couple of fountain pens and I love them, so what we're making here is a fountain pen out of a feather. You know, you get a lot of control, especially if you want to do, um, you know, some, you know, fancy writing or some script or something. It's really quite wonderful for that. Now we're trimming off the sides a little bit to bring them in and bring that bevel in. So you're mimicking a fountain pen. And uh, you might want to look at pictures of fountain pens to get a look for that shape. So let's give it a try. Looks good. Riding really well. Amazing what you can do with a feather. Don't forget to subscribe. And I've been on a real kick lately with all this paper making stuff and having a lot of fun with it. Um, here's a few more videos for you to take a look at if you uh, want to do something like this, handmade stuff like this. You know, we've made uh, up there in the upper left here is the beginners how to make paper. Then we'll go clockwise to make a medieval scroll, in that case a map. And then we have a wax stamper for um, sealing your letters. And down in the lower left there is an interesting paper mache and paper project on how to make a bonsai tree.